Hi, it's Tutorial Tim here, and today I'm going to show you how to use Apple Script. This is going to be just like an introductory lesson tutorial for you guys. And for those of you who do not know what Apple Script is, it is <clears throat> this is what the interface looks like right here. It's called uh, Script Editor here, and you can find it in your Finder. And if we go to our Finder, I'm just going to pull up the Finder. I'm going to hit uh, Command Shift A to go to my Applications. And if we scroll down, where you just press U, will take us to Utilities. And if we scroll down, you can see Script Editor. You can just double click to open it or press Command O. I already have it open, so there's no use in me uh, doing so. So, uh, Apple Script Editor, what is it? So, basically, Apple Script is a scripting language created by Apple that facilitates automated control over scriptable Mac applications, and it is a very useful tool to eliminate uh, repetitive tasks, if you ask me from my experience. So uh, without any further ado, let's get started. And as we get started, I will have a link in the description. And what I recommend you having to refer back to is this image I have here. All right, so this image is, I, I just labeled it Apple Script Key Code, as you can see right here in my preview. Um, it's the name of the file. And as you can see above, all the keyboards are the key codes. So there's key code, right? There's key code. And then, as you can see, if you pay attention, uh, it says key code right there, but that's all pixelated. And anyways, each one of these uh, <clears throat> letters here has a key code. So basically, key code allows you to press these buttons, and I'll show you how we'll do that in a minute. And then also, so key code 36. Key code 36 is return or enter. As you can see right there, it says 36. And if we want to type things out, through Apple Script Editor, instead of typing it ourselves, we'll just have to do it one time around. We would type in keystroke, and then in quotations, hello. All right, so this will type out hello. And uh, let's get started without any further ado. Uh, it's gonna be a basic tutorial. So I'm gonna start off by, I already have the page open. So what I like to do is, so we're gonna go to Instagram.com, and I'm just, I have Google Chrome. If you guys don't have Google Chrome, uh, I'd recommend you getting it for this tutorial to follow exactly as I do. Uh, if I said that right, I don't know if I did. Anyways, uh, so I got Instagram open. Basically, I am going to create a, I'm going to make it, we're going to create an automated script to click on their followers and basically just follow these people. And uh, this is for educational purposes only, not uh not doing this so you guys can uh, create automated scripts to spam people. Anyways, uh, for educational purposes only, remember. All right, let's get started. So I got this link. I am going to my address bar. I'm going to click on it, highlight it, Command A, Command C, or Command X. I just recommend Command C. Anyways, I talk too much. I'm going to go back to my script editor, and I am going to basically tell... I'm going to tell my application to activate Google Chrome. And how we do that is tell application Google Chrome to activate. But this is, all right, activate, all right. And uh, I'm going to go to File and Save or Command S. Just wanted to show you guys that. And this is going to be a tutorial example. I am going to save it on my desktop, hit save. There we go, unexpected end of line error. Not exactly sure why that popped up. Um, okay, so, we'll, okay, I see what I did there. Okay, so, I, this is a good example. I'm glad I this occurred. So, the proper syntax for this is tell application blank, in other words by blank I mean the specified application you want to activate and then after the quotations write to activate and now once I hit command S or file save this will save properly and as you can see uh, uh, it changed and now that we're, we've told Google Chrome to activate we're gonna want to start uh, pressing certain buttons on the keyboard and typing things so now in order to do that, we're gonna to have to tell the application system events. I mean, that is fairly straightforward for those of you. Hopefully you guys get that. Hopefully that makes sense. So basically what I did was type out tell application system events. So now in between, I'm gonna also end the tell, right? So everything within 
tell application system events and in between and tell, uh, we'll be able to start uh, automating things. So now what I want to do is uh, I have Google Chrome activated, right? That's the first step here highlighted. And now I'm going to go down and just tab a couple times. All right. So now Google Chrome has activated. So Google Chrome's open. We're going to want to go to the address bar. So for those of you on a Mac, which is what this automation scripting is for uh, on Google Chrome, you're going to hit Command L. That's what we're going to use. So we're going to do we're going to do key code, key space code, and then we're going to go refer back to our Apple script code here. This image I have for you guys in the description. Um, once you have that, we're going to go to key code, and what button am I going to want to press? Command and L. So, in order to do that, we're going to type in key code 37. All right, and then I'll show you guys a trick here. Key code 37, and then it's Command L. So, how are we going to hold down Command? Uh, we're going to do that by typing using Command down. So, if I hit Command S and save this, this action tells me that it was written out properly because it's saved correctly, and it, now we have Command L being pressed after Google Chrome has been activated. So um, when these commands process, it's really quick. So you're going to have to add a delay between, between, uh, between each action you are, you're doing. So I'm going to add a delay of 0 0.5, half a second. And you just type in delay space and uh, 0 0.5. And if you don't want it to be like a, like a decimal number, you could do like delay one second or five seconds or 10 seconds, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna do 0 0.5 and save. And now I am going to, uh, okay, so we have Command L and now I'm going to do a keystroke. So we hit Command L, right? So what that does is we have Google Chrome activating and then we're gonna press Command L so say Google Chrome activated, Command L, and then we're going to want it to type out Instagram.com slash what is indicated right there. So I'm going to copy that, going to minimize that, and then I'm going to do keystroke, in quotations, paste this, and save. All right. So now we have, it will take us to Instagram uh, page on Instagram.com. So I am going to add a delay and also take into consideration how fast your internet is when creating these scripts it does vary between computers and how fast your internet is you got to take these things into consideration um, it might be a lot at first but it's really not it's simple so now that we have instagram.com typed in I gave it a delay of one second just to, so it has enough time to type it out you know and then we're gonna go key code 36 and key code 36 is, whoops, key code 36 is return or enter. So I'm going to minimize that and uh, I'm going to save it. I'm also going to do another delay of one second to give it some time to load the website just in case it, my internet's slow, just to be safe. But uh, once you uh, get the hang of this, you can start to like minimize, reduce the time and delay to make your scripts even faster once you get the hang of things. So now I am going to see if this works. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press play. So that runs the script. And also the shortcut key for running the script is command R. And I'm just going to press play. And you'll notice that Google Chrome will pop up and it will type in this link in the address bar and then press enter and it will take us to the website. So, just hit play. And as you can see, it did exactly as I said. Uh, I hope you guys followed along and haven't had any issues along this way. And uh, you have my video and this script for reference. And uh, that is how you get to their site. But what if we want to press on something? So in order to press on something, uh, I want to press on 231M followers. I wish I had that many followers. So uh, with Google Chrome, you can hit Command F. And then this basically finds text on the page displayed in front of you. I hope that's correct. If that's not right, just correct me in the comments below. Uh, I'm going to hit type in 231M space followers. 
and I'm going to hit Command A and C to copy, and I'm going to go back to my script editor, and I will. We're going to have to check out our preview to see the Apple Script key code in order to figure out what uh, what button is F, what key code is F, and key code F is three, as you can see right there. So I'm going to minimize that. I'm going to type in key code three, but we're going to be using command down because it's command F to find. All right, using command down, save. And I'm out of delay of like, I'm just going to delay like 0 0.5. Uh, you could make it like 0 0.2, but um, just to be safe. And then now we're going to want to type in 231 M followers. So we're going to go keystroke in quotations, make sure it starts and ends and all the text within that you're trying to type is in those quotations. So we're gonna go 231M space followers, boom, give it another delay of like 0 0.25, be safe, command S, all right. I have a good habit of saving, you should do the same. Um, <clears throat> all right, so now that we have that squared away, so what happens? 231 million followers hit escape all right now we have it highlighted and if you hit spacebar it will select it so space okay nope if you hit enter it will select the followers all right so now that we have that I'm going we're gonna have to press escape so let's go back to our preview and escape is key code 53 so we're gonna go key code 53 save and then I'm just gonna do delay of 0 0.5 and now that we escaped this is this is basically the next action we're gonna have to do so we did 231 M followers hit enter okay my mistake instead of key code 33 sorry to confuse you guys right there just delete that line all right and we're gonna take a back step so we typed in 231 million followers as indicated in this script and we are going to hit enter next all right, so enter is key code 36. And if you guys want a visual reference, if I'm going too fast for you, this is key code 36 right there. All right, I'm gonna minimize that. Key code 36, I'm going to add a delay. All right, 0 0.5. And now that we have enter, we're gonna to want to hit escape. So we hit enter, I'm gonna hit escape right now. All right, and escape is key code 53. Right there, it's a little hard to see in that picture. But you can still see it. Go back to the script editor. We're gonna go to key code. We're gonna type in key code 53 at a delay of 0 0.5. Save it. All right, we have escape, and now we're gonna to want to hit enter again. So I'm gonna. I'm lazy here, so I am going to collect, select key code 36, paste it, boom, and uh, getting carried away here. So basically, all I did was add enter again and added a delay. So if we were to run our script, it would basically just select the followers here. I just press enter by, by accessing, accessing this. And now, uh, if we hit tab twice, which is what I just did, it will take us to the follow button. So I, I have tab twice. So I'm going to go, I'm going to do uh, repeat two times because I want it to tab twice after hitting enter and I'm going to do end repeat before I input the key code so I want it to repeat two times but what I wanted to repeat the tab so go back to my preview or whatever you're using to display this image of your Apple script key code keyboard and tab is 48 so I'm going to minimize that I'm going to type key code 48 and in the repeat, I'm just gonna add like a like a delay to be safe. I don't, yeah. And then I'm gonna hit Command S to save, and that should look something like that. Okay. And then once uh, we got that going, it's we have it tabbing twice, right? If I hit spacebar, it'll press follow. So now I'm following this person. Feel free to follow him. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, yeah. So now it's following this person going to minimize this and go to Apple script so now we got it tabbing twice now what do we want it to do we want it to hit spacebar to follow and spacebar is key code 49 all right 
So now we're gonna go type in key code 49 and boom. Hopefully when we run the script, uh, it will follow that person. So let's do this. All right, so I'm gonna go back to this and unfollow that person, all right? And anyways, I'm gonna just leave it here. I'm gonna actually just take this to google.com. So when it activates Google Chrome, it will just change the link and everything. So let's run the script from the beginning by pressing this button, play. And it messed up. So the reason it messed up was because uh, my internet's not that fast and there was a delay. So what we're gonna wanna do is basically add some more delay going between links. So I'm just gonna add like three seconds, three seconds, let's see here. I'm just gonna be safe and add like two seconds. It's, it'll be a little slower, but it's honestly still fast. So I'm gonna take this back to google.com. All right, now that it's on google.com, I am going to my script editor and I'm gonna press command R this time instead of play. I like shortcut keys. Shout out to Luke Garter. Boom. And as you can see, it typed in Instagram.com. It's going to press enter. Give it some time to load. It's giving it time to load. Boom. Okay. Still didn't do it. But we, we're getting closer. So it tabbed once. So notice it goes from the icon tab to the name. It needs to tab one more time. But I think that is because of I need to add another delay. So in doing so, we are going to go to, this is a good tutorial because I am diagnosing issues as we go. And this is, this is, uh, this is just good. So um, I'm just going to add more delay here. I'm just going to make everything like, I'm going to type in command F and go to 0 0.5. And then I'm going to click replace right there and then add one. So everything that's highlighted 0 0.5 is going to change to 1 because I indicated that in the text field below. And then hit done. And it changes. Nope, it didn't. Whoops, let me see here. And then I want to hit replace. So 0 0.5 and then 1. And then hit replace. And if you click replace, one by one, it will replace one at a time. Or you can just replace all of them. And then I hit escape to escape that little menu. And also to access that menu, I hit command F. Apologize if I didn't state that before. And uh, now we're gonna run the script. <clears throat> Let's see, if I press play. Hits enter, page loads. It's command F, types in 231M followers, hits enter. And it doesn't quite follow yet. And I'm not sure exactly why. So basically, I'm going to repeat the tab three times. Because it, what it looks like from my end is that it needs one more tab before it presses spacebar. So I'm going to go back to rule.com. All right. And rerun the script again. Should be the last time. As you can see, two, three, one, M followers, hits enter, loads, tabs, hits spacebar, and follows this person. So in this tutorial, I've showed you the basics of Apple Script Editor, and I hope this gives you an idea of how powerful this uh, application is. It's a utility tool, so for those of you wondering, it's already on your Mac computer. Um, I hope this helped. If it did, subscribe, leave comments below, and uh, get creative with it, guys, and let me know what you make. This is Tutorial Tim, and I'll see you later.